Hi Virgo, Taurus, and Capcom. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I really appreciate all of your love and support. In this reading, we're going to find out what's coming up for you within 24 hours. Today is the 2nd of August, 2023. Time here in Hoi An, Vietnam is 7.38 a.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. If you were to finally guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same sign. Now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn what's coming up for them within 24 hours. A lot of a lot of details in this reading that may or may not resonate with you from the beginning to the end. Ooh. Wheel of Fortune, nice. One second, this dropped on the floor. Okay. King of Swords. And then we've got the Hierophant. Very good. So a few major arcanas here. Wheel of Fortune. Indicates destiny, fate, luck, good luck, <laughs> a change. And then we've also got the King of Wands. The King of Wands, if you're embodying the King of Wands, that means right now at this moment, it feels like you are focused. You are laser focused on something that you like to commit to with the Hierophant right here. Unless it's Spirit's way of saying that, it's time to focus and commit to something that you want to get done. And then we've got the Nine of Swords here in reverse. The Lovers. This one makes me feel like I don't want to overthink. I want to focus. I want to make a choice and then stick to it. So some of you within 24 hours or well, currently you could be making a choice and you're going to stick to it because you understand with the higher fund here, if you, if you stick to it, if you focus on it, <clears throat> it, it's like having faith that it will come true. It will, it will happen. So if that's what's happening right now, um, or in the next 24 hours, I feel good about it. I feel good about the outcome. And the Wheel of Fortune indicates there's going to be a change and it's a good change. And I also got the King of Swords. So if you're embodying the uh, King of Swords, that means again, another very laser focused energy that I feel, uh, you know, this is the right thing to do. This is because it's just logical. It's common sense, right? The judgment here is in reverse. I don't see you making a wrong judgment call. I just feel like because these two kings are in an upright position. So you, you follow your heart, your passion, your desire, but also at the same time, you are practical about it. Okay. So, but also at the same time, the emperor is right here. It's in reverse. It's basically saying let go of control, right? Because the emperor can be quite controlling. Let go of control. Enjoy the process believe in the process, have faith that everything is going to turn out the way you want it to, okay? Whether you worry about it or not, um, because the Nine of Swords and Emerald Verse basically saying there's no point of wor worrying it, just keep doing what you're doing or what you're going to be planning to do within 24 hours. Okay, just giving you an, you an example. You might work out, go to the gym the first time, and you're not going to see the results right away. So you just have to believe uh, in the process. That means discipline, consistency, and doing it every other day or every single day up to you. But eventually, maybe you're not going to see the results right now, maybe in one month or two months time. So I feel like for some of you, you could be focused on something, um, have been focusing on something or will be within 24 hours and believing that it is going to happen okay that you're going to see the results basically don't worry about the outcome yet just um continue doing what you're doing okay four swords right here so this is part of your strategy this is part of your plan and you see how this person's hands are like 
uh, the palms are put together like he or she is praying so it's like okay i just hope for the best i'm just gonna continue doing what i'm doing and i just hope uh, i just hope for the best and sometimes you know that's the best control that we can have control over uh, the situation or over an outcome that you could be looking for but I would say within 24 hours, you're going to feel very lucky, Wheel of Fortune. You might notice a little bit of a change in uh, your energy, your vibe, people around you, your environment, but a good change, okay? And the higher fun can indicate teaching and learning. Some of you could be teaching or learning new things within 24 hours. I also see people respecting you, people listening to you. Mm-hmm. Her fan also can, again, indicate commitment, structure, organization, spiritual belief, highest spiritual belief, religious, religion. Mm. Some of you are going to be praying or doing some spiritual work within 24 hours, okay? But <laughs> on the other hand, look at these, these two kings here. If you're not embodying these two kings, so these could be the two people, two individuals in your energy field right now, okay? Maybe these are the people that whom you're going to be connecting with within 24 hours. First is the King of Wands, right? So it does feel like the King of Wands, someone might see you as desirable. Someone might keep his or her eye on you, watching you, right? Because they're interested. It could be someone who's interested to hire you or someone who's interested to work with you, someone who's interested in you romantically, friendship, okay? It can be anybody. So the lovers is right here. Someone is going to find you actually really attractive, okay? And attractiveness may not always be sexual. Attractiveness can be, hey, I'm attracted to Earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn's vibe, energy, I feel drawn to earth sign. So one person in particular here is going to feel very drawn to you, interested in you, interested in partnering with you or <clears throat> being close with you. Excuse me. Nana Swati is a love verse. There's no doubt about it. It feels like this person just, I feel like this person feels like when I'm with earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, my worries disappear or when i talk to earth signs my worries disappear and that's how it looks like right now okay and that could be someone like that coming in within 24 hours thinking this way feeling this way or it could also be you you may meet someone or be with someone or talk to someone that you're gonna feel as though your worries go away it could just be you watching tarot reading <laughs> okay um, it's a, it's a form of partnership, no matter what, even if you're watching and I'm doing the reading, you're watching, I'm doing the reading. Uh, it's a form of partnership. There is an energy exchanging right here at this moment. Okay. And you guys know that I post my videos every single day is fresh. This is why some people said I, oh, maybe I reused my readings. It is not true. Not even one time have I done that. Um, this is why I started to mention the date, the time, where I'm at, so you know it is fresh and new, okay? <laughs> All of my videos. So we've got the Eight of Swords here in reverse, Four of Swords, Judgment in reverse. So there could be a judgment call. You may need to make a judgment call within 24 hours. It's basically saying, hey, make sure. With the King of Swords here. Make sure before you make that judgment call that you're being very, that you're being analytical about it, um, logical about it, practical about it. Okay, so you're gonna be making a practical decision within twenty four hours, or if you're not, it's basically saying, hey, be practical about it. Okay, never mind the lovers. Sometimes people make decisions. Uh, wrong judgment calls because they love the person, they care about the person, you know, they have a history with this person, but never mind all of that, okay? Because that could lead you to making a wrong judgment call. Embody the King of Swords, which is someone 
who has a lot of information, again, gather all of the information, uh, use your intelligence, uh, use your logic, use your mind, right? And another thing I'm seeing here with Emperor in reverse, for some of you, if you feel like there is a situation that is completely out of your control, that's going to change will of fortune. You're going to feel lucky that oh, it's out of my control, but it happens. Eventually, the outcome will be in my favor. Okay, let's see just a little bit more here or signs. You know, my hands are so dry because, <laughs> because when I went to buy a moist like a hand moisturizer a hand, hand lotion and i was you see that's the problem about traveling and then people you don't understand each other the language barrier so i said i want it i'm looking for a hand moisturizer or moisturizer in general and she's she gave me the wrong thing she gave me um shower gel and i was like oh i should have because it's all in Vietnamese, so I couldn't really read it. Uh, and also I wear glasses, so I couldn't really see the words properly. But, you know, she just gave it to me and I bought it. And next thing you know, it's a shower gel. And I have two big bottles of shower gel in my bathroom right now. And no moisturizer for my hands. But anyway, I'm going to have to go buy another one today. Um, yeah, oh, by the way, for those of you, if you like to watch me live, go live with me, go eat, go shopping, go to the beach, whatever, you can go to my travel channel. It's called Chelsea Vlogs or Chelsea Vlogs tra uh, Travel, okay? The link is in the description box below. Anyway, we'll see a little bit more, okay? Or signs. Oh, okay. I like that the uh, you are right here. You're in upright position, right? Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And then we've got the tower here in my first. See, you're going to escape something. Something that you think is going to be a disaster. It's out of your control. You Within 24 hours, you're going to feel like, oh, yes, I'm so glad that bad thing didn't happen or whatever I was thinking was going to happen that was bad. Um, that's not going to happen, okay? And because you're in an upright position, so you're steady, you're stable, and then the higher found here, it's just like, um, again, having faith that everything is going to be okay, right? And you're going to feel very thankful as well, grateful that something bad didn't happen to you or an outcome that you possibly could have been worrying um, is not going to happen, okay? <laughs> and then we've got the fool here. Maybe it was something very risky or a little bit risky. Maybe something new. Maybe something that you embark on without much preparation. Because the fool really doesn't have much preparation, right? He's standing at the at the edge of the cliff and then holding this, carrying this little pouch. When you go travel, I'm just giving an example. If you go traveling, if you're not really prepared, you are going to forget to bring things, right? So it makes me feel like it's, it could be the fool. Sometimes uh, we could be in a rush. We do something last minute, right? That happens a lot to me because sometimes I just go like, eh, I'm just going to go here or do this. And then I'm not really fully prepared. And I forgot to bring this, forgot to bring that. <laughs> so for some of you, I'm just giving an example, but it could be anything, right? Something that you were not actually prepared but then you did it anyway uh, you took a little bit of a risk there and you're afraid of the outcome I feel like within 24 hours you're gonna feel like okay it's 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 not that bad the outcome is gonna be not that bad okay or it could be good better than you expected and then we've got the temperance here in our first the ten of one so your struggles are almost over within 24 hours or a little bit longer okay don't take the timing too too literally because timing and terror isn't always very very accurate so have faith that you finish or that you get to the finish line okay no matter how hard how challenging your situation can be the temperance here is in one first right so again it feels like maybe you were not ready um you know it wasn't balanced you were not you didn't prepare again you know because with the fool right here it's it feels like something wasn't prepared or organized that's very unlikely of earth signs actually most earth signs are very prepared uh but you know once in a while you may think you know 
whatever, let me just do it. I'm just gonna do it now. Um, but it looks like the risk is going to pay off, right? With a fool right here. And then, or it's not gonna be that bad. Justice here is in reverse. Hmm. Justice in reverse can indicate something that is not balanced, right? Two cards here indicates imbalances. Um, if you're feeling like something is not balanced in your life, it's not fulfilling you as much. Within 24 hours, you might liberate yourself from it, okay? Because the full right here can indicate liberation, uh, liberating yourself from all of these um, challenges or even something that is not balanced that you just don't feel good about or happy. I see you um, releasing yourself from that. Oh, I see that all of these challenges will be over within 24 hours. All right, Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capcom, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to my other channel. It's called Chelsea Vlogs. It's my travel channel. And for those of you who like to be notified every time when I post your videos and every time when I go live, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. Take care. Bye.